In this video, we aim to give you a general understanding of stormwater management in today's world, which is referred to as water-sensitive urban design. In this approach to urban planning, unlike wastewater which is treated at treatment plants, stormwater is managed in a way that minimises harm to the environment. Let's first understand what we mean by stormwater. Stormwater refers to rainwater runoffs from roofs, roads and any other outdoor surface. As it flows it can collect soil, litter, organic matter, garden chemicals, oil residues and other pollutants which may contaminate downstream waterways eventually reaching the oceans. Poor stormwater management not only causes problems such as soil erosion, but also washes away valuable soil nutrients and carries chemical pollutants, litter and sediments into the surrounding environment and downstream waterways. But as a result of proper stormwater management, rivers, lakes and coastlines remain clean and healthy Floods are significantly reduced, municipalities spend less on irrigation, and ultimately a healthier environment is created for people, plants and animals. In traditional drainage systems, stormwater and sometimes even industrial wastewater is channelled through pipes and drains to be discharged outside the city. At the end of this path, we face a large volume of polluted water filled with harmful chemicals and oils that can have long-lasting and destructive effects on groundwater, fertile land, rivers, lakes and various organisms in the ecosystem. But in water-sensitive urban design, stormwater volume is first reduced through engineered strategies. Then, by slowing its flow and applying appropriate measures, the water is gradually filtered and absorbed into the ground. In this system, on one hand, the amount of runoff from residential sites is minimised. On the other hand, Natural drainage paths in urban areas are identified, preserved or enhanced. If these flow paths are sloped, the use of rocks, plants or even artificial ponds can help slow the water speed. When storm water flows more slowly, it has more time to infiltrate the ground and along its path, it is gradually filtered by plants and other design filters. In this way, destructive floods are not only prevented, but the water that eventually reaches rivers, lakes, or even the ocean, is as clean and well filtered as possible. Vegetation along stormwater paths cools the urban environment, reduces the negative impacts of polluted runoff and prevents soil erosion. It also enhances the aesthetic and comfort of urban spaces, uplifting resident spirits and improving habitat for native wildlife. Around these ponds, spaces are created for recreation, walking and leisure time, as shown in these examples.
during heavy rainfall, if the landscaping of a building is made of hard, non-permeable surfaces, rainwater will quickly leave the site and enter public urban areas. Along the way, it combines with water from other sites, potentially turning into a destructive flood that sweeps away everything in its path. That's why City Councils enforce regulations for residential properties. One of the key requirements is minimising impermeable surfaces. Depending on land size, location and project needs, only a small portion of outdoor areas is allowed to be paved. If additional paving is necessary, it's typically approved only when permeable materials are used surfaces that allow stormwater to soak into the ground. Water sensitive urban design combines different systems to manage stormwater. These systems help reduce the amount of runoff, make better use of rainwater and support a more sustainable environment. Retention tanks collect and store rainwater for reuse. Absorption wells allow stormwater to infiltrate into the ground and detention tanks provide temporary storage by holding stormwater during rainfall and gradually releasing it into the drainage system, helping to reduce sudden runoff across the city. In addition, stormwater from roofs and paved surfaces is directed into specially designed garden beds within the site. Now I invite you to take a look at examples of permeable paving used in residential landscapes, an approach commonly recommended in this type of planning. For more detailed information, feel free to explore the links below.